730 kilometres from Earth, Jared Isaacman is stress testing his brand new spacesuit. Peering out from the Crew Dragon capsule, he shared his first impressions. Back at home, we all have a lot of work to do, but from here, Earth sure looks like a perfect world. He's the first private citizen to ever walk in space, the climax of a daring mission. With less than three years to prepare, the tech billionaire led a crew of four as far as 1,400 kilometres from Earth aboard a SpaceX vessel, the furthest humans have been since the moon landings. The Dragon spaceship then lowered its altitude and depressurised its cabin before Isaacman popped out of the hatch for just over 10 minutes, followed by crewmate Sarah Gillis. The vessel has no airlock, meaning everything inside, including the two other crew members, was also exposed to the elements. It's as risky as every space mission. To, to give an idea, for example, the Crew Dragon capsule has been certified by NASA because SpaceX demonstrated that there can be just one bad event every 300 flights. Nobody would take a plane with one bad event every 300 flights. Isaacman bankrolled the mission estimated to have cost hundreds of millions of dollars. He did it to help SpaceX further its quest to put man on Mars. I imagine, you know, a lot of people someday in the future are going to be you know, maybe even families bouncing around on the lunar surface in their, in their, EVA, in their SpaceX EVA suits, certainly possible. The spacewalk is only part of the adventure. The Polaris Dawn mission is also testing a laser communication system and studying the effects of decompression and radiation on the human body. The first spacewalks were in 1965. Until now, only the Russian, Chinese and American space agencies have achieved the feat.